See, I can't go sideways. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I think it hit the water. So I think we're okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Imperion. We are sitting out here on Omicron. I'm in the middle of building my CV, uh, my HV, and it's ugly as sin, of course, you know. So, yeah, you know by now that I can't build for shit. Uh, I'm intentionally not using a symmetry plane right now because I need to still work out designs, and you know, it's not, it's a small thing, so symmetry plane is not really that, that big of a deal not to use it, yeah. Um, so what this basically is is my little oh whoa 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 it's a bit heavy <laughs> um, that's actually good because we can continue building on the ground oh man yeah and we can put another one here and we probably yeah there you go and there we go and we take we have to take this one out anyway. Yeah, that looks pretty boss. I like that. So what we're gonna put here is we're gonna put uh, directional thrusters, not the actual full thrusters for now. So this is a directional thruster. Then underneath here. We probably will... Let me see if I can finish the design here. This looks actually pretty okay. Unless we want to put this here. Would that make sense? It could make sense like that, I suppose. But that would leave a gap. Yeah, it, w it would leave a... Let me see. If I do this and then... Yeah, I can't actually put a piece there. Yeah, it would leave a gap. Okay, that's not good. Sorry about that. I know you don't like getting your time wasted um, with these type of things. So let's put that here and then we should be able to cover that up like that. Excellent. Sweet. And the same here. Nice. And then we can cover this side up with the with the blocks I'm currently building. I currently have queued up. It's yeah. I want to design this in a way that it's kind of robust, that it looks okay, that it doesn't look like complete crap, you know. Because you know I'm not the best, as already said, in designing these things. So let's see what I have here. We have 20 of those. That should be enough, I think. Of course, the main thruster is going to be in the back, which is going to be the proper thruster. The directional thruster is only going to be the ones on the side and in the front. And I don't even know. This turret is absolutely awesome, guys. Yeah, I got attacked twice to, uh, from drones during the night. And again, two at first in the first wave, then three in the second wave. And this thing just took them out before they even got close enough to take a pot shot. It was unbelievably cool. So, um, yeah. Cool. Absolutely cool. Is that it? No. There you go. Oh, okay, that doesn't fit. That's a problem. Why does it make it so awkward now? Why is it doing that like that? Would we do it like this, maybe? And then do the... Let me, sorry, I just, I have always a really hard time with the designs. No, that's not it. Um, this one, maybe? No, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. We just put some blocks. I have a feeling there's a block type missing. I'm pretty sure there's a block type missing. So let's do it like that over here. And the same on the other side. Oh! Whoa, 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 dude. Oh, man. Okay, fair enough. We're just gonna finish you like that. That's okay. <laughs> I can live with that. Um, yeah, I can live with that. Thank you. 
And then underneath here, because nothing is actually shooting at us ever underneath, we can put the RCS unit. I think. That would be cool. Because nothing is ever going to shoot at us from underneath. And we... Well, we need to reach these two, so we can't really put that there. Um, but we can then fill it up with more blocks. To cover it up. Nice. And then... We can... How do I do that now? Oh, man. I need to put a thruster on the side here. A directional thruster on either side. So what I want to do is I want to protect the directional thrusters as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is, unless they fixed it, I still should be able to place them behind a block and still get them to work. So here... There we go. So, you see the way this is pointing up now? So I should be able to have this one here. And the other one, basically, um, underneath here, pointing the other way. Okay, pointing down. And that should still work. Okay. Of course, uh, I can't knock it over. No, I can't. <laughs> Can I... Uh... Uh, can I push it? Nope. Cannot push it. Okay. That's fair enough. I think it looks pretty boss. I think it looks pretty okay. So we can put one of those items here. It's not turning right now, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's been weird because it's on the side. Anyway. Um, so let's continue. I think that's pretty much it. Now, the main thruster is going to be sitting in the back, in the center, which is going to be here. So we can take this guy out. Oh, no, there will be another row, actually, I think. Yes, so we can make the directional thruster, thruster here. Oh, we only will have one more row, though. And I don't want this to stick out. So I think we're going to have to destroy this one. Yep, let's put the directional thruster here. Sweet. Excellent. And then we can put the fuel tank. Let me think. We're going to build this down. And then the fuel tank can sit here. Pointing up. So that we can touch it. And fill it up. Like that. And we have the generator, we have the RCS unit. I actually think we should be able to start it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, turn around. Okay, this is not good. We have for some reason no... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're doing something, we're turning around, we're turning around. Oh, man. Okay, guys, so that took a little bit of fiddling. Um, I ended up with a huge hole, and you can see the reason it's black is because I had to raise the ground again, like, so that, that was a bit redonkulous, but it actually eventually flipped itself around. I couldn't fix it, and I just finished it because I didn't want to waste too much time. I wanted to do a little bit of exploration, and also it's going to become daylight now. If, and if we go to the direction of where the planet is already bright, if we're going to go over here and explore a little bit here, we're going to have a good go. We're just going to follow the path here, and there's a base over here as well, so we could, have, we could start having a look at it. Also, I know I'm alone, but hey, let's create a faction. Why not, you know? The G4K ninjas, this is what I call uh, the guys that sub to the channel, you know, because they are ninjas, they're gaming ninjas. I'm not a ninja, I'm a ninja, you know, which is the non ninja. Um, because you guys are so much better at these games than me and always give me these great tips. And that's the faction that's called, and G4K is the hot uh, shortcut. Anyway, there we go. That's us. Just be there spiritually. <laughs> I also uh, raised the cannon a little bit. I put some food here in a fridge, I put a holding uh, crate here, and yeah, so we can put everything in there. Now, let's give it some color, okay? So, what color will we give it? Um, a nice black would probably be nice, or a yellow. Yellow would be good for the desert, I think. I think yellow would make really nice for the desert. So, if we can go yellow all around, then... That would be pretty sweet. Now, of course, we also would have to make this yellow then. 
And um, let's continue with the theme. Oh, look at that. I also put some spotlights into it, you know, so that we're not in complete darkness. And I put some single lights on it as well. So we should have plenty of lights where we go on. So even if it's dark, it shouldn't be too bad. Now, I think making the yellow striped is nice. But should we then make the other color dark? I like it actually that it's when it's black. So let's make it black here. And... Um, yeah, that's nice. I like that. And we can make it black down here as well. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Nice. The black looks kind of nice with the yellow because it's like, hey, evil. I would love to get like a nice um, dark green. I, I know they have green, but it's not really... Actually... I think green might be better because it fits better into the desert camouflage look but it would be nice if you could make like a nice brown if you know what I mean for like a camouflage desert look that would be really awesome and it, it actually you know the color palette that they have um, to pick your color for your suit and all that it would be really sweet if they could actually make that part of the game so that you could pick your own color for your tool that would be awesome I think so anyway <laughs> Okay, so let's make this green as well. I'm just imagining it to be like a nice brown green, if you know what I mean, for camouflage purposes. And then I'm gonna make this yellow again up here. So let's fly up here and make the roof yellow. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Genie Mac, trying to hold shift while you're flying around with your... Um, jet is not the easiest so yeah it looks a bit funny i suppose with the colors because they're not really darkish you know but hey ho that's what we got that's what we're gonna have to deal with now is there anything else that we can color why can we not color these oh yeah they're the we should be able to color these though there we go okay cool excellent so that looks nice i haven't brought it actually for a test drive yet so I have no idea if it actually moves at all. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. It gets stuck on a light. Seriously? So if you press shift and space, it will go up a little bit. Nice, nice. Excellent. So let's explore a little bit. This is really cool. I actually like this. And to be honest, like, out of all my shitty creations, this doesn't look half bad. This looks actually nice. Oh, we have a copper deposit over there. And it's quite fast. That is really cool. We have a copper deposit here. Now, what we need is Prometheum. That's what we really need to find. Prometheum. So, I can't go left and right really fast. Because I only build directional thrusters. But uh, So, the turning is nice. But I will add... I uh, will replace them with um, a proper... Oh, look at that. Oh, what are you shooting at? I can't turn as fast. I can't turn. Oh, scorpions. Sorry, I'm very slow turning because, again, they're only directional thrusters. That is really nice. I like it. Oh, nice. That is good find. That is a good find. Nice meat. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is something I have to get used to. Actually, we can put um, this away, this tool. We don't need that anymore. And, yeah, these guys are harmless. Like, we don't have to shoot them. Ah, come on. Eh. Yeah, sorry about that. So, I will actually go back to the base for, before the next episode. And we'll do upgrade the directional thrusters to proper thrusters. This looks really awesome. I like the magnesium. Oh, nice. We found magnesium. And we found a base and some really weird looking base. Oh, my God. We found more magnesium. I need promethium, though. I'm, on the way back, I'm going to come back over the mountain range. Like, not over the mountain range, but alongside. This is... Wow, what is this? Silicon. Nice. We needed silicon as well. That is actually real... Oh, crap. This is actually really good that we found this. So there's a couple of drones over there, so I think that might be... Is that the drone base over there? I just want to get close enough for it to get a good look, because... Oh, Xeno Temple. Okay. And... 
What is that? That looks like a gigantic transformer. I have not seen a base like that before. Did I? I don't think so. Neodymium. Nice. Oh, there's Prometheum. Yes. But it's in a very, very... Oh my god, that's a walker base. That is amazing. Holy shit. See, I can't go sideways. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I think it hit the water. So I think we're okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So they definitely have a bigger range than I do. Come on. Whoa, they have a massive range. Holy shit. Oh, and now we stuck. Great. Okay, boost, 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 and gone. Boost and go. Oh, we got out of this just in the nick of time. Holy shit. So I don't think the Prometheum is going to be something that we're going to get access to very soon. Well, again... <sighs> See, it. I maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this again raises the question for me. Yeah, hover vessel for base evasion, pointless, useless, small vessel. I get also at level seven, pretty much. You know, with the thrusters at level ten, which is not that much more, and. All I really can do with this guy is go really quickly from resource to resource and to be honest I I know I need Prometheum and I probably and that's why I needed to build it but if that is the only reason I think I will just keep digging resources and kill monsters really quickly to speed level up to 10 and then I just spend all the resources on making a small vessel again. I still, I'm still not, I made this hover, that HV simply for the sake of making it so that I can say I built one, but I don't really see the point of it over the small vessel still. I don't. I, I don't. Because now I have to build a small vessel anyway or find a smart way of invading those bases. Now let's see if we can find any Prometheum here Because especially if the Prometheum is guarded by bases, that's gonna be very tough, you know So let's yeah, let's go. Let's get here. Let's go on boost up boost up and Another boost up again. Oh Yes, okay. We made it is there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? Let me see Oh, a black scorpion. Nice. And you're shooting at something else now. You can hear me clicking with my mouse over and over. Um, what are you shooting at? Oh, 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 oh. So now I have to wait for this to turn around, which can take a while. So on this note, I'm probably going to be better off leaving it here and wait for this to turn around. Um, I think it's the same uh, timer that when you have it floating in the air or something with your SV and it comes down after five minutes, it will eventually just turn around because it fixes itself. And that's it. Because I, I did that originally when it fell into the hole. I uh, couldn't get it out. It kept going constantly on its head. It was so frustrating. And um, I went down to my base, queuing up already to build a new one. And it, I came back and it was turned around. So actually, it gives me a chance to color the, the rest of it if I can reach my... Um... No, I don't want to get in there. I want to reach my um... cargo box. <laughs> so it gives me a chance to um, color the bottom of it, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Now, of course, now when I wanted to do something with it, now it turns around. You little piece of... Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, because of the level of frustration you really end up with with the HV going through terrain, and because of its being completely incapable of attacking turrets, uh, because it just doesn't have the range, I I would say it's not of much use. Um, oh, might as well fix that up. 
while I'm here. Um, compared to the SV, I think I would always try my best if, if I would recommend something to you guys. I would say try your best to just level up quick and um, that way you can just go for the SV straight away. It's the same amount of resources and you can start right away attacking um, whatchamacallit, um, the turrets. Anyway, oh yeah, we leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Anyway, I hope I find some Prometheum, which is not between these two bases. And um, I see you guys hopefully in another episode. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. <laughs>